welcome to Hollywood Already Did It. It's Terrence Tatum here, and uh, bright and early this morning, the folks at Paramount decided to go ahead and release the new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer, and that's what we're going to take a reaction and look at today. Now, it's interesting. Up to this point, we had not seen anything from Sonic other than some artwork and posters that just showed his legs, and I, I they have been doing a pretty solid job or... Uh, secretive job of trying to keep the actual look of what Sonic looks like hidden and I think this is the first time that we're actually going to see a full body uh, scale other than some leaks that happened a, a couple of weeks ago a couple months ago um, this is the time we're going to see the first full length look at him and also see him in action so we're going to get a chance to see what it looks like now me personally as an old head Sonic fan I like my Sonic to sound and look like this Blue streak speeds by but I'm willing to admit that I probably aged out of what Sonic should be. So let's see what they're bringing out now for the new ages. All right, cool. I'm going to start this bad boy up in one, two, three. Another green hill zone. Oh, James Marsden. I love the rings around Paramount. Never thought I'd see the day of Sega being on the logo. Gotta go fast. Are you playing Gangsta's Paradise right now? Twenty minutes ago, an energy surge knocked out. I mean, that's really Gangsta's Paradise playing in the middle of a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, right? based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stump? The doctor thinks you're basic. Listen, pal, I don't know if you realize... I'm sorry, Major, what was your name? Benny? Nobody cares! I mean, I guess that's supposed to be funny, but it's Jim Carrey doing full-on Jim Carrey, and I might be here for that. Oh, that is... Meow? Oh, come on. It's a creepy-looking Sonic. Basically, it looks like I'm gonna have to save your planet. Yeah, he's odd looking. When he's doing the Sonic Ball. Oh, is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. Uh oh. Whatever this creature is, our job is to secure it, neutralize it, see what makes it tick. They did not use the word Genesis in their promo. Oh, stop it. Look at this. I took nine million steps today. Stay in there and be quiet. How much longer? I can't breathe in here. Do you have your child in that thing? No. I mean, yes, it's a child, but it's not mine. Not your child. It smells like body spray in an old ham sandwich. All right. Well, that was uh, that was something. <laughs> I um. Wow. So. So my initial reaction is I I don't know who this movie is marketing to. Like, my initial brain and my initial thought says that this is a movie that's for, like, 6 to 10-year-old boys and girls. Um, and you're like, oh, they don't know who Sonic is, but Sonic is still pretty relevant. I, I, you'll be surprised how many kids you see still with Sonic toys and Sonic book bags. My nephew is a big Sonic fan. I think it's because of the Netflix shows being... I mean, the shows being put back on Netflix, the animated series, is that this character sort of stayed in the uh, general young person's conscious. My question is, though, if this is a kid's movie, why, one, would you put Gangsta's Paradise 
as a theme throughout. I feel like you can find something that's a little bit more kiddie or use just, you know, the actual themes and songs that are in the Sonic video games to kind of splice throughout. Gangsta's Paradise is a weird choice for this trailer. Um, Sonic himself looks a little weird. Um, I'm not sure, quite sure how I feel about Ben Shorts doing the voice. Doesn't quite connect with me, but I'm sure it'll be fine. But the look of him uh, at times comes off more creepy than it does uh, cute, which I think is what they're trying to go for. The whole vibe of the trailer reminds me a lot of uh, like Alvin and the Chipmunks, or I think Garfield also did like a, a animated character to real life characters. Smurfs, sort of as well. Those are the type of animation, uh, sh animation to real life movies that are out there. I like none of those. <laughs> I'm also not a parent, so I can't say that this is something that I would take a kid to. And I and I think you can have what would be considered kiddie films that appeal to adults as well. I think I'm not a fan at all of Pokemon, but I think those trailers of Detective Pikachu have made it so that like, okay, I would not mind seeing this even as just an adult or taking someone else, uh, uh, I, I, my nephew or nieces to go see it. This one would be more of a chore. I do it because I'm like, ah, oh, I dig Sonic, but as a whole, it's not really ringing true. What's going to be the catch for adults, however, is Jim Carrey. And it depends on how high your threshold for Jim Carrey going full on Jim Carrey is. It looks like they're letting him go Ace Ventura Jim Carrey, um, which is fine. But I think it needs to be in a better script for an adult like myself to like it. For Jim Carrey just to be going for Jim Carrey and it's a kid's movie for Sonic, you know that he's not going to be going as crazy as he can um and there's going to be some limits to what he can get again and can't get away with um as a sonic fan there's a lot that bothers me because one robotnik is severely malnourished according to this um and you also have nothing that other than sonic being there that feels like the world of sonic i mean you've seen a couple of gold coins but there are no emeralds there's no uh zones that he's in it's look like we're in a regular earth or real world the entire time so uh I, i'm not sure if this is being done for sonic fans or if they're just trying to make a quick kids movie grab that happens to have a popular titular character in it also the line that he has a genesis or he this is his genesis in the middle of the trailer that is god awful like it's terrible um but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to think about Sonic the Hedgehog. I probably will pass unless I have a kid who's like, oh, I want to go see Sonic. And in that case, I'm like, all right, fine, we'll go. Like, I don't have an, a complete turn off from it, but it's not something that I would probably go see out the gate, unfortunately. Sorry, Paramount. But I'm curious to hear what you guys have to think about it. So go ahead and leave your comments in the comments below. You can reach us at HollywoodAlreadyDidIt at gmail.com or you can find us on Twitter at HollywoodADI. Also, if you have not listened to the podcast, you can find that on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, anywhere else that plays podcasts. This week's episode was all about Avengers Endgame, so we'll get into spoilers, but go ahead over there and listen to those, all right? Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that down by hitting that button below and ringing that bell. First 500 folks here, you guys will be the founders of the channel. You can share, subscribe, and once we get to 500, I'll give one of you guys something nice for sticking around and, and letting everybody know about the place, all right? I got my ticket. You got yours?